I think about Georgina a lot, her gumption, her spark. Madam Speaker, I will take the liberty of assuming that I would be the only member in this House that would have first-hand knowledge uh, of the sex industry, having been a sex worker in the past. I can tell you from my brief encounter with this person that this was a seemingly ordinary, uh, uh, hard-working, heterosexual New Zealander um, who had uh, decided that he needed a little light relief. And I was able to provide that. We happened to be followed by some police. Uh, the police sum summarily uh, pulled us up and proceeded to uh, separate myself from the client. Um, I was taken down to the uh, Wellington Central Police Station and that was on a Friday evening and on Monday morning I appeared before the judge in the district court and I was uh, convicted of frequenting with felonious intent deemed as a rogue and a vagabond. <laughs> What really got up my nose, Madam Speaker, uh, was that we never, never got any justice from the point of view of the client being made responsible for having been the other party in this transaction. And therein lies um, a great uh, injustice that is going to be addressed within the body of this bill. When I was 17 years old, Georgina Bile was our local representative in Parliament. I wasn't out yet, but there she was, a Māori, openly trans, ex-sex worker, running for Parliament in my town, one of the most rural, historically conservative parts of the country. And she won! In 1999, Georgina Byers became the first openly trans Minister of Parliament. We're moving back to the town I grew up in. You know how it is. COVID, the economy, a PhD scholarship, a baby and a self-employed artist. It's not forever, I tell myself. It's definitely not forever. I worry about being queer in a small rural New Zealand town. I feel uncomfortable a lot. I'm so grateful for her. Georgina Bayer, hometown hero, guiding light, total babe.